A ton of you asked me for some kind of tutorial, some kind of tips and tricks video on how you can get better grill types. I know a lot of you got Oculus Quest for Christmas. Actually, I made a channel in my Discord server, which you should join right now, specifically for you to show off what you got for Christmas. And let's just say it was in the hundreds. And that's just on my Discord server. The Oculus Quest app was the most downloaded app on Christmas Day on the App Store. Millions of apps are downloaded every day, so that gives you a sense of how many people actually got a Quest. Before we jump into this, I want to be clear, I'm not a tutorial guy. I'm not any kind of teacher. Uh, this is a one-time thing. I'm gonna be as clear as possible. Um, but I'm I'm just I just I play games. I, I'm just, uh, <laughs> Isn't that right, Joseph? Joe Biden. <laughs> So in this video, I'm gonna cover everything from how to download Grill Tag to how to do all the tricks and moves that I know. I'm also gonna talk about how uh, you can get into my videos and how to join my Discord server because there seems to be a lot of confusion about that too. As usual though, before I start a video, I have a, a, a drink to try. My mom actually went out and got me a bunch of drinks. So this one is, this one's blue. I guess you could say I was jonesing for it. Mmm, God, that's so good. You know what I found out is that your pet told me that it would run away from home if you didn't subscribe, so you probably should hit that button right there. Okay, first off, I'm gonna start with how to download Gorilla Tag. To download Gorilla Tag, this is for Oculus Quest 2 and below users. On Steam, it's as simple as just searching up Gorilla Tag and downloading, but Quest 2, it's a little bit different. Basically, on the Oculus app, games that aren't completely developed or complete go under the category of App Lab. Gorilla Tag is one of those games because it's still in beta, it's not finished yet. So what you need to do is go to the store, and this applies to in-headset as well. Type in Gorilla Tag exactly how it's spelled. For some reason, if you make a typo, uh, it won't show you the game. And you're gonna scroll to the bottom, and it's says view in app lab you got to click that button and the game will appear grill tag is completely free just hit download and bada bing bada boom you're in all right when you play grill tag my advice is i always 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 play with a mat under my feet i don't wear one here because there's a drain uh cover that's in the shape of a square this is so you don't lose your place and you don't start wandering around and hitting stuff while you're in vr uh you can just feel with your feet exactly where you are and you'll be in the middle of the mat the whole time this is a genius trick do it all right, to join my Discord, you can go to https colon forward slash forward slash www.discord.gg slash jmancurly, or the link will always be in my description. Just click uh, view more or whatever it says. It's always there in my description. So go down there and click to join. I have to warn you that you have to be 13 and up. Uh, you cannot be below 13 and join the Discord server. That's Discord's terms of service. If they find out that we have members that are under 13 and we know about it, we could lose the server. So that's a risk we can't take. Uh, you can join when you're 13, but you will get banned if you're under 13. Alright, to get into my videos, uh, you need to first join the Discord, and then you need to go to the Get Roles channel. This is where you can click the little buttons and you can get a role that makes you eligible for different pings I put out. You're gonna click on Video Monkey. The Video Monkey role is the role I ping whenever I need somebody for a video. Once you have that role, a Discord event will be made. Right at the top over all the channels, you'll see the event. Uh, there I'll tell you what game mode we're doing, uh, and it will be converted to your time zone. So if it says 4 p.m. for me, and you're in Australia, that's like whatever time for you, it's already converted, so it's Whatever time you see, that's the time it's happening for you. Uh, usually in the event, I'll give a little description of what's happening. If it's not there, I'll just explain in game. Then in the games channel, I'm gonna ping the video monkeys and put the link to the invite so you to have some time a few days before to see when it's happening and everything. Then on the day and time of the game, I'm gonna ping the video monkey saying, hey guys, the game's starting in about five minutes. And then I do three codes. And this is all happening within the games channel. If it's something different like a hundred person manhunt, I'll do 10 codes, five minutes each, but you'll know all that beforehand. I'm gonna ping for each game, game one, two, and three, and I'm gonna put the code there. I'm gonna ping three times when the game starts for the three different codes. They last about 20 minutes each, and it's whoever joins the fastest gets in. Lobbies fill within seconds, so uh, please don't be disappointed if you don't make it many others didn't as well it's only 10 people per lobby so and i have to insist that if you do join one of the codes please don't join the other two so that everybody has a chance of getting in just because there's a lot of people that do want to get in uh let's hop in game and let me show you what i know oh by the way every time you play grill tag put your dang wrist straps on because this game is a recipe for murder if you have a small child or an elderly person in your house chances are you will hit them and they will die. First thing I'm gonna cover is uh, running on surfaces. A lot of people when they first start Gorilla Tag, meaning a lot of you guys right now, since it's just Christmas, you guys kinda bounce up and you, and you move kinda slow. Most of your movements are vertical rather than horizontal. My best advice to you is every time on any surface you're going on Gorilla Tag is move parallel to the surface you're on. So the flatter it is, move your hands in a more flat motion like you're, kinda like you're skiing you know, and, and try to reduce the motion of your hand going down because then you're gonna move up and try to make it 
a little more lateral like this like you can start out with really exaggerated movements like but see how I'm saying really flat to the ground so I'd say just move parallel to every surface you're on you need to get really good at it try to focus less on pushing down and away from the ground and more on pushing along with the ground also when you're going along any kind of surface or anything like this ramp I try to keep my monkey body kind of off the ramp so that I'm, I'm lower and closer to it rather than every time I have to bounce up and wait to land to move forward again. If I hang off, uh, I'm going to be lower and my hand will land faster and I can move along these things a lot faster. Alright, next thing I want to show you is uh, something we call pinch climbing. Pinch climbing is when you have a surface like this that you can put your arms around. You pinch and then push down and then you can make your way up uh, the object. The best place to practice this, well, it's Christmas now, so these lights are in the way. They get kind of annoying. Here, there's a, there's a light like, like clipping through this here, so let's do it on this side. So here's what you're going to want to do. Grab the object at the same time with both hands. You can't alternate. That's not really going to work. Both at the same time, grab, and instead of thinking pulling up, think pushing down. That's what VMT said uh, in a video I did recently with him, and it made a lot of sense. You're going to grab it, and you're going to push it down. The world is your tool, and you have to use it to maneuver. Push down, and then you're up. And that applies for everything, kind of like this tree. Your hitboxes are your wrists right here, pretend they're little balls right there, and your head. Your head is where you get tagged, your wrist is where you make contact with everything. See how my fingers go through, but then right when I get to the base of my hand, it makes contact. Also, every surface you touch, you stick for half a second. See? And then you fall. You stick, then you fall. Uh, when you make it up something like this, don't be afraid to hang on, or if it's too big or something, because you will stick. You can grab and push down. Grab and push down, and then soon you can make it all the way up here. I just want to touch on the planks in particular. Uh, you can pinch climb up these, but a method I like to use is, uh, I don't know, you can call it like wall bouncing, is when you just smack against each wall with nice big motions where you follow through, just big whole motions. Now what happens a lot with people who are first starting to uh, wall bounce, what was happening with me when I started, is every time I bounce I would go in one direction and then I would just fly off. I wouldn't be able to stay directly in the middle. So what I would suggest you do is every time you bounce, just turn in real life and then you'll, you can kind of position yourself to stay in the middle. Eventually you get better and you get more control and you can just hover here if you want. Once you get better you can do the double hand strat which is what I like to do. Double hand you can spin, push, spin, double hand, push, spin, and you end up going up in a really uh, erratic fashion, makes you harder to tag. Alright, next thing I'm going to show you, which uh, was the big thing back then that only a few people could do, was wall climbing. Nowadays, literally everyone can do this. This is the wall where I first started uh, wall, wall climbing, and basically the best advice I had is to go nice and slow. You're gonna move left and right and move as if you're skiing or if you're frozen from the Incredibles. Basically, you're gonna move like this and you're like making big leaps for either wall, left and right. Or think of frozen, how he's skating. He's always going like this, so pew, pew, left and right. And remember to take it slow and make nice big whole movements because your hands stick, so you don't have to speed up. They stick for a second, so take advantage of that. Best advice is to do this as much as you can. Practice and you will get better. That's what happened with me. It took me days to learn. It might take you 20 minutes. From that point, you're going to want to learn how to wall run. When you get to this point, the wall angles out a bit so you have more surface area to put your hands. But basically, whenever you bounce on a wall, you want to push your hand again parallel with the wall. If I push a little bit against it, I'm going to go that way. What you want to do is stick with it. Even here, you can climb up the wall just by sticking and pushing down parallel with it. See how my hand's not at all going towards the wall, it's going up with the wall. As soon as I start pushing towards, I'm gonna fly out like that, with the wall, with the wall, never against the wall. And hey, even sometimes I fumble, being the professional sexy gorilla tag player, God, I'm so muscular. Uh, it's, it's not easy, and it's great if you can do it. Okay, so just to recap the wall running part, uh, practice a lot, move like Frozone, make big hole movements, make sure to take your time, and once you get up there, always move parallel with the wall, and never against it, because as soon as you move against it, you're gonna go that way. So, there you go. Okay, one trick that I'm constantly using is pole spinning. No, I'm not a pole dancer, I'm not a stripper. 
though that was what I was doing before YouTube, but I don't like to talk about it. Basically, if someone's chasing me, I want to juke them out. I'll come up to this pole, grab it, do a little spin move, and go in an entirely different direction. Now, how I do this is you have to spin in real life. Basically, just like how you were pinch climbing, you're gonna grab with two hands, and you stick for a second, so it's okay. You don't need to panic. So you grab for two seconds, spin in real life, and kind of catapult yourself in a direction. Grab, boom, swing away, swing away. Basically, uh, it's very hard. I don't know how you'd stay on it and choose when to let go. Usually, you, you kind of get a feel for when your hands will, will let go by themselves and you'll fling off in that direction and then from then on you can kind of improvise. Uh, just in case you don't know what juking is, juking is when you've got someone chasing you and then you very rapidly switch directions and then they get kind of tripped up and keep going in that initial direct direction. So if someone's chasing me, I'm like, bounce over them, oop, get juked, now I'm behind them running away. That's basically it. One thing I found specifically difficult when I was starting was getting up to the treehouse. I'd always slip and fall. You can kind of do this slow and steady method. There's not many times when you need to go up here in a chase. It's not a very useful place to be. Mostly because you get boxed up in there. But the method that worked best for me is you just keep uh, touching the middle parts and you can kind of get yourself up here pretty quick. Whoop, mess up a bit there, but you get the idea. My biggest tip is to always, always, always use the environment to your advantage. Whenever you're running away from someone or you're chasing someone, keep an eye out for what's around you and use it. The other day I was being chased by VMT and uh, I ran over here and look what you've got here. You've got a table, uh, stairs, board, a big flat surface to bounce off to, great for jukes. You've got poles to spin around, but the key was being aware of my surroundings. The tree provides a really cool new opportunity to get up to this place over here, and then you can get yourself on the ramp and then continue route over there. So just be aware of what's around you. Don't play fast, don't play hard, but play smarter than everyone else. All right, next thing I want to show you is the funny run. Uh, I'm actually proud to say that I kind of coined this uh, move. I used to use it a lot. I still use it once in a while. Basically what you want to do, I think it's the easiest for beginners, is make uh, like finger picks. It's not exactly necessary, but it makes it a little more visually uh, simpler to understand. Put your hands like this, and you're going to move as if you had tiny little legs really quick. Just blah, 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 and then you start getting some crazy speed. Sometimes I'll get chased and a good way to recover after a, a large fall, like from over here. Just get some distance between you and the enemies, you just do this and then continue on your bouncing. I think it's a really cool way to get a lot of speed really fast. Next thing is branching. This is still something I sometimes have issues with. Uh, there's people that are crazy at branching, such as Mosa. Branching is just stringing together a series of branch jumps. Branching can be really useful just because there's so many of them and provides a lot of opportunity to go in different directions. Branching, uh, I'm still not very good at it and it's not something I use very often. I think I excel on the floor, really, but in a pickle, you really got people on your tail. Do as much as you want. Just branch away. Huh. Okay, this is something that I don't think you should ever use in a pickle. Basically, you're gonna take your hand and just wiggle it like crazy, and you're gonna go in some direction. I guess you're gonna go to the right, uh, and it's just... Sometimes you go backwards too. Uh, and then I'll, last thing, I just want to show you guys my route that has served me well so many times. Basically, you're going to start here at the ramp, let your body hang off, move all the way up here. When you get to this branch up here, I duck in real life just to get out of the way. Keep going from here, branch off into the treehouse, and now you can either go out here, go up that tree, go to the planks over there. Uh, do whatever or you can back out sometimes when a monkey's chasing you they'll fail the jump or when they make that jump you can go way out here and completely uh, whatever all right that's essentially everything I wanted to show you guys that's kind of what I know and what I utilize to uh, obviously excel at the game what I have to insist though is that you be nice to your fellow new players we were all there at one point and I know it can get frustrating when people don't know how the game works but be nice because they're people too and we're all just there to have fun and be monkeys together so please never forget that just be respectful to each other that's all I ask and the number one rule you can never forget is have fun and the number two rule you can never forget is subscribe right now I don't know what the hell you're waiting for just do it already god damn Hi, Poppy. <coughs> wow, that was a big one.